Hey YouTube, this is TechThank9, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the official 4.0.3 T-Mobile T989 Samsung Galaxy S2 Ice Cream Sandwich Update. Oh gosh, that was a mouthful, alright? So I'm going to show you, um, recent news, if you haven't heard, the official did come out like two days, two or three days ago, depending on where you live. And um, I want to show you how to do it, because a lot of people have been asking, how do I do it because Samsung keys can't recognize my phone or whatever, right? And um, I know you can flash your phone through Clockwork Mod Recovery, but that's not the official way, alright? I'm going to show you the official way f uh, getting it through Odin, alright? No flashing or nothing like that, no Clockwork Mod Recovery, and you don't need Samsung keys. You just need those drivers, alright? So let's get started. First, you're going to be downloading uh, Samsung keys. If you don't have it already, that will be in the description, the link for that. And after that, you will be downloading the zip file. You can see the zip file. And you can see I already extracted it, and these three things came out of this file. So after you extract it and you finish downloading everything, you'll start at, after this step. You're going to be entering to download mode. So plug your phone into the USB port of your computer, and plug the micro USB into your phone. You will now enter into download mode. Alright, so zoom out so you can see the whole phone. Alright, now we're going to be holding the volume up, volume down, and power all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power, but keep holding on to the volume up and volume down. Let's do it. Holding on to all three. Full vibration, let go of the power. Keep holding on to the volume up and volume down. And if this doesn't work on your first try, that's okay. Just try it again. Alright, you'll be here. You'll be this screen. Alright, you press the volume up to continue. <coughs> Alright, now you're going to be right here. And you're going to be choosing, you're going to extract this like I told you before. And now we're going to be opening Odin. So right click on Odin. And you will do run as administrator. Yes. And now you'll be here. If you have the correct drivers installed, you will have this yellow bar here. If you don't have it installed, make sure you have Samsung keys like I told you earlier. Make sure you have that installed and open it up and make sure all the drivers are installed correctly. If you don't have this, that means you don't have Samsung keys installed and the drivers in there. Alright, so you'll be here. Make sure only auto reboot is checkmarked here, nothing else. Only auto reboot. And now we're going to be clicking on PDA. PDA. Find that the file I extracted, I'll show you it file I extracted it was .tar.md5 this one right here let me zoom in so you can see more clearly you extracted that from the zip file alright so you just want to choose that and then you want to click start and now it will start doing this whole process right there it will tell you the status and everything and this won't take that long it will only take maximum of oh, matter which computer you have and all that 10 minutes maximum so, alright, <coughs> it's doing it. You can see it's still the same screen on the phone for now. It will change in a little bit. <coughs> but this will work flawlessly. You won't have any problems as long as you have the drivers installed. So you will be good to go. And this is the 100% official way to do it and the official ROM. Alright, so... Be happy that T-Mobile finally released it, because I was getting really mad. Because I had to use the uh, AT&T one, which was kind of insulting, I guess you could say, because AT&T is kind of competitors on that, and T-Mobile is losing customers left and right because all this stuff, you know? If they stepped up their game, they might do better, but they're not. Alright, so as you can see, the green bar is there. I'll be back when that's done. Alright guys, you just finished rebooting and everything, and you can see it says it passed, and you can see the time it took, 6.45, so that's very good, and um, now we're going to be going, it already rebooted and everything, sorry I missed it, but we're going to be going inside and taking a look at it. Alright, see, I got all these errors, right? I got that error. If you get any errors or anything freezes or anything, we're going to be doing a, fa a system factory reset. So unplug the phone, and only if you get a... Uh, problem then you you'll have to do this but so we're gonna be going into stock recovery hold on all three 
When you feel vibration, let go of the power, but keep holding the volume up and down. Full vibration, let go, power, keep holding the volume up and down. And you only have to do this if you get any errors or freezes. Alright, you can let go, and it will enter. Alright, you're gonna go to. You're gonna go to wipe data slash factory reset. All the way down to yes. And you're gonna wait. After this, just reboot it and you won't have any errors. And you can do this even if you don't have any errors, if you want a more clean install, but you don't have to, you don't get any errors, they'll be the same thing in the end. Alright, it's done. You want a reboot system now? It's rebooting. <coughs> there we go. And then I'll show you the <coughs> kernels and everything in the stock RAM and all that. And it will take a while to reboot on the first try, because first you installed the updated one, and then if you're doing a factory reset, that will also take a little bit of time. But after the first time, you'll it'll, it won't even take that long. Only a couple seconds. Alright, it's taking a little bit, so I'll be back when it's done rebooting. Alright, finish rebooting. So I'm going to go to start. I'm just going to be skipping all this. Skip, skip. Next. I don't care. No, no, no. Alright, here we go. Nice ice cream sandwich, man. Yeah. Oh, come on. Alright, ice cream sandwich. Let's go into settings and let's take a look. Alright, you can see 4.0.3, everything kernel. There you go, guys. That's it. <coughs> and that is how you get Samsung Galaxy to official ice cream sandwich update for T989 Samsung Galaxy S2 phone. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and don't forget to check out my new site it'll be in this corner you will see it. you should see it throughout the whole video check out my new site I just started it up our team just started it up so check it out thanks